Hello everyone, my name is Li Zhao and I'm from Tsinghua University. My talk is about clustering a spec-related phrases by leveraging sentiment distribution consistency. This, this paper is a research on clustering a spec-related phrases that refer to the same product property. In product reviews, people will express sent their opinion or sentiment towards product property, such as in cell phone reviews, people will express sentiment on product property, such as battery. Here, the product property is called as a, 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 called as a spect in sentiment analysis. When talking about battery, people will use all kinds of phrases, such as battery, battery life, and power, and they all refer to the same aspect. Clustering those aspect phrases into aspect is a pre precursor process to aspect level sentiment analysis. Some researchers proposed some context based models to solve this problem. In this paper, we explore the sentiment distribution of each aspect phrases on human generated re reviews and we also combine the sentiment distribution consistency with existing context-based model and improve the performance. First, I will introduce the existing context-based model briefly. As it's known to all, you shall know a word by the company it keeps. To cluster those aspect phrases, you have to get a repre uh, presenta representation for each aspect phrase. So the context-based model, you will go through all the reviews and you collect all the context words and you will generate a context document for each aspect phrase. The basic assumption here is that different phrases of the same aspect tend to have similar context. Here the picture, photo, and picture quality in the camera domain they all refers to the photo here, and they should share similar context. And after we have all the context document, all we have to do is to do text clustering, and uh, with one cluster corresponding to one aspect here. However, since the most important feature of an aspect is that people will express sentiment towards that aspect, why, and you can See that from this semi-structure review, we can collect the sentiment information about the aspect. So why don't we cluster aspect-related phrases based on sentiment information? Here I will introduce the sentiment distribution consistency, which is the most important concept in this paper. First, I will show you the assumption and then formalization. For the assumption, first I will take an example and show it intuitively, and then I will declare the assumption formally. And at last, uh, the, the assumption is verified on our data set statistically. We got this semi-structure review here, and we will collect the sentiment information from this semi-structure review. For example, here is a product, it's a Nokia cell phone. And here we have a large amount of reviews on this cell phone. And we got the phrase battery here, and we'll go through all the reviews. We count how many times this phrase appear in pros, and also how many times this phrase appear in cons. So we can get a sentiment distribution here for this phrase on this uh, Nokia cell phone. And we do the same for other phrases. And we can also get a sentiment distribution of the corresponding aspect by a weighted, by a weighted average of all the phrase uh, it contains. We can see that the sentiment distribution of a certain phrase is really similar to that, to that of its corresponding aspect. This is kind of reasonable because if a battery is good, uh, most people will say it's good, no matter what phrase they used. 
So here is our assumption. Different phrases of the same aspect tend to have the same sentiment distribution. All have statistically closed sentiment estimated distributions. Because we can only get samples here, our, our distribution here is actually estimated distribution. And we can only ensure they are statistically close, not uh, exactly the same. And this assumption is also verified by our data. For most phrase, and uh, with relative reliable estimation, the care diversity is very small. So how to leverage this sentiment distribution consistency? Well, here is a naive approach. Assuming that we have already got all this sentiment distribution for aspect, all aspect, for some product, and also for product two, for, okay, for all products. So for each aspect, we got this sentiment distribution vector for our product. Here comes the phrase. I have to decide which aspect to, sorry, to assign it. So maybe we will select the nearest one. However, this is problematic. I will show you why, and I will show you our formalization. First, I will take a, an example to show you why the naive approach is not working, and then I will show you our formalization. And again, I will take another example, show our, how our formalization works well. There is the uh, reels for another Nokia cell phone, and it uh, with a small number of reels. We, can, we also got counting, and we see that um, we got very limited observations. For example, for the first part, we only got one observation for pros and zero observation for cons, and the estimated, and the estimated sentiment distribution is very unreliable. We count to um, assign whether assign a phrase par to another to an aspect based on this unreliable sentiment distribution, it will lead to mistake. So how to solve that problem? We will first introduce our formalization. Um, let X A I be the sentiment on aspect A I. Um, the sentiment could be, could be either positive or negative, so it follows a Bernoulli distribution. Here is the sentiment distribution consistent assumption. For all aspect phrase FG um, that belongs to the aspect AI, the sentiment on the phrase will follow the same sentiment, same Bernoulli distribution of that with that of the aspect. So when we got limited observation, the point estimation is no longer reliable. The basic idea here is we perform interval estimation instead of point estimation. We got samples here. We saw, we see, we can see 21 observation in pros and 10 observation in cons, and we perform the interval estimation, and we got a countless interval. If the phrase belongs to that uh, that aspect, we're confident that this parameter is in the confidence confidence interval of this parameter. Well, if this parameter is not in the confidence interval of this parameter, then we will, we will confident that the phrase doesn't belong to the aspect. So this leads to our sentiment distribution consistency constraint here. And for each aspect, for each aspect phrase, and for each product, we got uh, such one constraint function here. And here the DGI is an indicator variable. Uh, we assuming that we know the, certain, the underlying sentiment distribution of the certain aspect, and we got three phrases here. We know we got the, all those observations here, and for each one, we will perform the interval estimation, and we will get confidence interval, and we will check whether this distribution is within that interval, and for the first one, it's within that interval. So maybe it belongs to the left aspect. And for the last one, we got so less, so small observations here. So the interval is very large, and the, and the distribution is still in this interval. So it may be. And for the second one, we got uh, we got the confidence interval, and we found that the sentiment distribution is not in that interval. So we can judge <laughs> that 
this aspect phrase two doesn't belong to the left aspect here. So the summary of uh, sentiment distribution consistency constraint. There are data-driven constraints, and there are hundreds of them. For each aspect phrases, there are the number of the aspect uh, multiply the number of the product that much constraint here. And uh, the constraints are very flexible. The more, more observation we get, the constraint is more tight, and we will, the constraint is more informative. And less observation, less tight, less informative. Next, we will combine our, our SDC constraint with existing context-based model. Here is our joint model. We use a probabilistic context-based model for the context part. Assuming the doc in documents in the D is independent and identically distributed, and there is a probability. Here, the DJ represents the context document for phrase J, and here the YJ uh, belongs to the aspect site. We are to learn the parameter. We will maximize the data likelihood here. It's an unsupervised method. And we are actually more interested in the poster distribution over the aspect, i.e. this one. We can get our classing result from the poster distribution by assigning aspect AI with the largest poster to the phrase FG. We can also enforce our sentiment distribution consistency constraint in expectation on the posteral mm -hmm. distribution P. So here, the Q represents the a valid poster distribution that follows that follows our SDC constraint. And the upper Q, uh, it represents the valid poster distribution space that uh, follows our SDC constraint. We, mo we model the constraint and the context model combine it under the poster regularization framework. Here is the training object of the PR framework. By trading off the data likelihood of the observed context document and the KL diversity of the posters to the valid poster subspace defined by SDC constraint. This our training objective encourage model with both large data likelihood and desired poster distribution. For the context model, we choose the multinomial naive base and is built to the existing context-based work. Here, the MNB purpose here is used in an unsupervised manner. And for the SDC constraint, there is one thing left. We we must to, we should estimate the sentiment distribution for each aspect. Well, because for each aspect, there is usually enough observations here, so we can just do the point estimation. It is a weighted average of the estimated sentiment distribution of each phrase that partially belongs to certain aspect. Here's our experiment. We conducted experiment on four different data sets uh, with hundreds of products and 10,000 of reviews and hundreds of aspect phrases <coughs> and tens of aspects. And we select three uh, evaluation measures, which is pretty <coughs> entropy, rent index, which are all common evaluation measures for clustering. <coughs> we compare our method to unsupervised baselines, and the right one is our method. We can find that uh, our model outperform all existing baselines in purity, random index, rent index, and entropy. We also compare our model to some supervised baselines. <coughs> we can find that our model is comparable to MNB with 1,000% uh, label data 
and uh, our model is also comparable to LK-means with 1500% labeled data, which demonstrates the effectiveness of our model. Here we show the influence, we want to set the influence of parameter to our model, and uh, the parameter is the confidence level to calculate the uh, confidence interval. We can see that uh, our model is robust to this parameter. Here is another analysis. It's an analysis between the statistical of constraint and the performance gain. The DJK here, we count for all products. We count uh, for each phrase. We count how many DJK is less than 0 0.2 and on average. And we got this result. And we can see for the cell phone domain, we have the most informative constraint, and that may explain why our method um, gets the largest purity pure, gain in cell phone domain over the existing set of art method. Okay, in summary, um, this paper is about research on classing aspect related phrase and uh, existing approach are mainly context-based model. In this paper, we explore the sentiment distribution of each aspect phrases, and we also combine the sentiment distribution consistency with existing context-based model. In future work, we will try to explore the hierarchy structure of the aspect, and uh, we will also try to learn a vector representation for the aspect phrases that may capture both semantically and sentiment, semantic and sentiment information of the aspect phrase. Okay, that's all. Thank you. are considering only the negative and the positive sentiment here because uh, our data set is uh, um, like this, the same structure views. Uh, I think uh, if we got the first star um, views, or also like you say, I'll get the neutral sentiment of the views, we can extend our model uh, from the, sorry, from the Bernoulli distribution here to multinomial distribution, as I think it's naturally, it can be naturally extended to that. And I think it will also work well. Thank you. When you don't get enough uh, information from the sentiment part, and you can't judge whether this aspect phrase belongs to that aspect by the sentiment information, and you will uh, cluster will cluster this aspect phrase mainly based on the context part, mainly based on context information here. So it's kind of a complement to the context part, context information. But since you are using confidence interval here, I guess you know you will cluster only if it is you know it occurs frequently enough. And so I guess those of the low frequency phrases won't be clustered because you are using confidence interval. Yeah, here. yeah, that's it. Uh, well, the most for the most low frequency phrase, uh, we can't guess the enough observ observations here. So the sentiment distribution, estimated sentiment distribution for it is unreliable here. 
So maybe uh, choose not to use them is uh, is better. Thank you.